I'm Liam Galon, and uh, I'm working in my company, Elon Bio. We're doing tissue culture, uh, and we're cloning plants, not only cannabis, potato, sweet potato, sugarcane, and much more plants. And we're uh, working also in cannabis for the coming last three years. Uh, cloning and cleaning plants, plantlets, and uh, start, we started also to uh, co collect uh, variety strains all over the world and importing them to, to Israel. We're taking cannabis plant strains that we collected from Israel and from the world, and we're taking the tissue from it, uh, cleaning it from viruses and bacteria, and then it, we're making sure that it's totally clean. I'll jump because we don't have en enough time. Then we introduce it to, to, to a semi-solid uh, medium. That is, this is the traditional way. This is our system, but we're starting from there, making sure the plants are, cl are clean, and we have a, gen a gene bank in a quantity that we need. Later on, we'll start producing it and cloning thousands or millions of plants, exactly uniform, the same consistent plants, so we will make sure each plant will be the exactly the same as, as its brother or mother. And then we're selling it and, or giving it away to, to growers that they will grow and harvest the same plant, exactly the same medi medical plant, that each cannabinoid will be the same. We tested it in Israel and we already started operating in California. So. Our, our system in tissue culture is different than the traditional way. We're taking the plant, cut, taking the, the, the tissue from it, putting it in a gene bank, and this is the traditional way that they're doing cloning and cloning by, by jars. Our system is taking a gene bank and put it in our system. It's a bioreactor. It's a big system that can clone thousands of plants and getting them strong and harder later on to be, ha to be a, a, in the nursery gr grown and then cultivated in, in the greenhouses. So our advantage is because, because we are doing uh, with bioreactors that we have low, low production cost, minimal contamination risk because humanity is con contaminated and if people are opening and closing the, the boxes, it's going to get con contaminated and then later on there's more disease that we have to de then use pesticides to, to kill this disease, and then the patients will get the, these pesticides. So we are giving the, the growers a, a healthier plants to breed, to, to grow. Uh, all, all our plants are true to type because we clone the same exact genetics and we're checking it once, once in, in, in any production. Uh, because it's, we're working in a laboratory, so the clones are always, all the year, the same clones day to day, and uh, our ma mass production capacity is because we have high multiplication factor because we're using liquids and not using a semi-solid medium. Uh, we have high throughput, uh, so it reduces the process time, and of course, automation, and uh, we have a lot of property know-how from Israel and from abroad. Uh, our glo glo global key is a uh, Playing it in, in a dealing with the challenges of food, health, and energy to so supply humanity by, by application of unique technology. Tissue culture, I think, is an enabling high quality propagation and then cleaner and healthier plants for the medicalization and also for the regular products that we are using also and dealing with it. We are also researching a, a, diff a different system to harvest from, from the bioactor. Uh, we're doing it with the Vulcanic Center. Uh, we, started, we are starting the research uh, in, in the coming months. So we could propagate the, the cannabinoids in the system, in the bioreactor, and then harvest it from the bioreactor without going out, outside from the laboratory. Uh, we have also a, a small amount of uh, gene banks from s several clones all from the world, and we're still collecting. So the new regula the regulatory uh, we could provide them 
new strains that uh, support the table of, of uh, medicalization of the canacopea that uh, the, regular, the IMC is uh, dealing with. Uh, this, the cycle, if you can see it in pictures, so you saw it in the video, but you take the plants from, from establishing the, the, the flowers, the buds actually, then putting it in a gene bank, putting, researching every, every strain have a different uh, modification and protocol. So we have to develop it. Then we are scaling it up in bioreactors and ac accumulating it and then hardening off and uh, giving it to the growers. Uh, I think we, we have something different from cutting. Regular cutting, it's a system that it's, you're cutting the, the plants and blending it and then the, the, the cut itself, the, wood, the wound of the plant can get cut contaminated as, as human. If you have blood and uh, somebody else or the, there's bacteria in the air getting into the plant and get, getting disease. So we're, we're doing it in the laboratory so it's more sterile conditions and uh, there's the pathogen, it's less pathogens in the, on the plants. The plants are all uniform because we're taking the same genome, the same exact tissue and cloning it again and again. And we're controlling it and also checking it later on. So we know that we started from the same genetics and cloning all the same genetics again and again. And again. So there's a huge, huge amount of uniformity and, and consistent plants. All, all our plants of tr are true to type because we're checking it any, any, any process. Uh, of course, we, because of that, we are re reducing chemicals and pesticides on the, on, the, on the grow. We can do large scale production where our California facility now can, can clone around 50,000 plants, uh, 50, 50, plants a month. And our Israeli facility can do the same or more. Uh, we're doing, we are using a small, small volume of biomass uh, that we need to, to scale up. So it's easier to and faster to grow if you have a, a breeded plant that you want to grow fast and to uh, uh, introduce it to the market. So we can do, do it very, very efficiently and fast way. Uh, and so and, and we are saving the things that the growers won't have to uh, have mother, pl mother plants and mother fields because we have it all in the s in the small containers in the in the laboratory and we reduce the, the, the costs that the growers have to, to uh, pay for mother growing and mother uh, st stabilizing the mothers in, in their uh, facilities. Uh, cannabinoids produ production, I have talked about it uh, before. Uh, we're, going, we're doing the, the, a platform to use our bioreactor to actually clone and get the biomass in the bioreactors and then harvest the bio the biomass and milk the cannabinoids from from it to uh, to extract it to products this is a, a nice vision but we hope that it will get true and uh, productive uh, our gene bank, gene bank uh, we're, we're keeping it 365 days a year uh, tissue culture we, we are also uh, having uh, some mothers outside for uh, catastrophes if some, something happens inside, so we have our facility to support it. <coughs> We're do, doing also our analytical uh, procedures through the process and after, after the process in-house. Uh, cu current uh, and future acti activities is supply seedli seedling to producer in tissue culture to the Israeli growers and also to Californian growers right now. Uh, research and development with, uh, with the Vulcani Center, as I told before. Establishing a, a production site in California that is already been established right now. And uh, establishing another uh, facility in the, in the Europe, European Union. It hopefully it will come in a few months. Uh, and I thank you very much for listening. <laughs>